Howdy, everybody. Welcome back. This is video number eight of the tank series. So in this one, it's a sh much shorter video, only about four and a half minutes long. Um, and I'm only going to be putting in the fuel cap flanges um, in both tanks. So I'll do the, uh, the right tank and then the left tank. <clears throat> and they're pretty easy, but your normal squeezer won't work. So that's why I have the handy dandy little hand squeezer there. That's a tip I got from the Vans aircraft video that they put together on building the tank is they had a little hand squeezer as well. So I did buy one. I got it from um, Aircraft Spruce and it wasn't that bad, 150 bucks. And it's really nice actually. So, and it'll take any of the little fittings that you have for your normal squeezer. So there you go. So I figured I would tell you a couple of jokes. Um, so what brand of underwear do scientists wear? Kelvin Klein. <laughs> oh, that one's so bad. Uh, <laughs> so my wife asked me the other day where I got so much candy. I said, I always have a few Twix up my sleeve. My daughter thought that was funny. And speaking of my daughter, there she is. Um, she's helping me squeeze the rivets there. Um, and it is pretty easy. There's only, I think, eight or nine or ten on those. Um, you do have to remember to put the, the little holder there at the top um, that will hold your vent line in your fuel tank. Um, and it does take a different rivet, just FYI. And then you clean it up and make it look pretty. You pull the tape off of it. I put tape on it. In the grand scheme of things, I'm not so sure that was worth the time or the trouble to put the tape around it. I mean, it did keep a bunch of the goop off of it, but the goop cleans up pretty good with um, acetone. So I don't know. Um, it, it helped, I guess. So helpful tip. I had put the this side piece in there. Don't do that. It's in the way and you'll need to remove it and clean it up after you get crap all over it. Just so you know. So yeah, leave that last, the outboard rib. Don't put that in, um, even Clecoed in it. It's in the way and then it gets stuff on it and you have to clean it up. Um, and then with it like this, you obviously you have complete and total access to make sure you have a nice fillet around the edges um, and it's easy to get to the flange of it and the rivets of it so you can put the tank sealant on it. So just helpful tip there. Don't put that rib in. Leave it off while you're doing this and then you should be good to go. And then here just uh, is me doing the little um, chocolate chip on the ends of the rivets and it seemed to work pretty well um, and that's pretty much it for the fuel tank um, flanges Ooh, that looks pretty doggone good I do say so myself oh, that one needs a little bit more so that guy needs a little bit more okay Use a flashlight. It helps you see things a lot better. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm kind of impressed. The hand squeezer did a great job. Um, I will have to clean it up, but highly recommended for this particular job. Worked perfectly fine. Um, I'll put a link somewhere on the screen for you. See ya. Bye.